A culture of accountability is one where people really talk in I statements all the time. And I tell you, executive boards of very large organizations, people just keep on blaming each other. And they just gain innocence by blaming the external world. And they just bitch and moan all the time for the sake of gaining innocence. So it's not my fault. Oh, yeah, it's the macro context. Oh, yeah, well, well this macro, who can forecast effectively? Oh, of course not. Oh, wait, so let's keep going. That is, that disempowers the, account, the culture of achievement in an organization. The three values that are relevant in a, in a culture of achievement is meritocracy, my word is my bond, and truthfulness. And the deal breaker is a CEO that is not willing to hold people to account. Um, I, I was thinking when I was thinking this example of, of the green, yellow, and red, I'm not sure we were firing those that were really in red. W were we? I think we weren't. So it was like everything was set for a fantastic achievement culture, meritocracy, we were measuring everything. But then the underperformers, we were going to them and saying, come on, keep it up, come on. And then some of them after two months were yellow, and then we say, yes, well, I don't need to fire you, so you keep going. So the reality is, although we were measuring a lot of things, we were not, I, I was a CEO at that time, so I take responsibility, but we were not getting rid of those underperformers. And a culture of achievement is one where we just say the bottom 10% needs to go. I need to open the door for other people that are willing to do things more effectively. Now, I'm not saying you need to like that and you need to make that your culture. I'm just saying a culture of accountability does that. And when you ask why were people fired, oh, because they're underperformers. So, okay, so what do you need to do to say here? I need to perform. Great, well, that's an achievement culture. Lack of clarity in communication and goal setting. If you're not willing to share information, make it transparent, you cannot create a culture of accountability. And lack of, then lack of healthy confrontation when excuses of, for non-performance are presented. If you're not willing to confront the facts, the brutal facts, and put things on the table and really set standards and respond to those, you're not gonna create that culture. 